Hello everyone, I'm here with Sidious Obsidian and we are on the Geek Crash 5 server. Um, Sidious has an introduction uh, to the server, but my recording kind of failed. had the video, but um, the audio didn't work because I'm an idiot. And we just wanted to give you guys a little server tour and maybe go on an adventure because you found a temple, didn't you? Yes, beyond the ridge and beyond the swamp and across the desert there is a desert temple. Over the hills and far away, there is a temple to explore. Ah, oh, Telly Twins. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, there we go. Ah, we, were talk we were talking about kids' TV earlier, so... Um, anyway. Sure, yeah. Shall we uh, start basic... up, down? Yeah. Where do you want to start? It's. I had to put these iron doors on because um, the server's on hard and we had to... Uh, the, the zombies were breaking down the doors. Is it? The server's on hard? Yep. Does that affect what difficulty I'm on? Uh, no, because your client sinks. Because I'm on normal difficulty. No, that shouldn't be a problem. You'll still starve to death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, those of you who watched Sidious's, Sidious's video, this is the, um, the starting peninsula or island that we were on. And as you can see, things have changed. Well, to be honest, um, where we're up to on the server series, none of this is here. It's just me digging a hole where we're standing. So it yeah, well. changes. By the by, the time they by the time they've watched that video, it's a, a big jump. Mm -hmm. Um, so you've got basic uh, survival hut that'll be pretty up one day. Um, this is a something I built a couple of days ago. It's a battery farm. Let's see what a sign, mm -hmm. and it's just to get eggs, um, for cake and stuff and so we can breed chickens get feathers get chicken you know um feather farm it's it's a nice setup i mean considering all we had here previously was a massive field that was full of animals of all shapes and yeah animals. that that kind of got annoying um because i opened the doors and they all escaped <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, um your farm um, Ooh, well, do you like my path? Yeah, I do I, I, like I, your path. I spent ages on this. Actually, I did. I was like, <laughs> it's not all aligned. <laughs> like, do I move the building over or do I... I considered moving this over for like two minutes and then thought, ah, oh, screw that. It was like half one in the morning, so... Um, well, first thing, this is the lava bin. It's kind of self-explanatory. Um, mm. I built it originally before I decided to build a sorting system simply because I'm sick of death with the amount of cobblestone and dirt we've got lying around in chests. I mean, you can either throw them in here or you can go to the top if you're feeling daring and hopefully not fall in the hole and throw your stuff in. Yeah, I, was, I almost did that yesterday. I, um, I almost threw diamonds in there by accident. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is how stupid I am. I had... Say so, well, people that can see my um, hot bar. Where the shovel is, I had diamonds, and where the torches was, I had cobble. I scrolled too far and nearly pressed Q. Oh. Uh, which would have been fun. I mean, it's in a nice place. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not in the way. It's not this, out of the way. Um, this seed actually is a really, really nice seed. We have been really lucky. Because uh, I've been mining down there, I'll show you, I might show you in a minute. Uh, and I've found so many emeralds, which is going to be useful if we find a village. Mm. And we'll have a look at the uh, nether in a bit, but... Do you we're, have in, your... we're in hmm? the right biome, I mean, extreme hills, yeah. the only place that produce emeralds. Yeah, do you want to have a look at your farm? Um, well, this is the wheat farm, essentially. <laughs> I think it needs to be harvested, if I'm honest. <laughs> yeah. You get a stack and um, one stack and eight, I think. Mm. I might have had some on me when I um, harvested it last. Well, originally this was just going to be an all-purpose farm. Uh, wheat, carrots, potatoes, melons, pumpkins. And, I don't know, I, I like things to be separated. So this is solely wheat. Um... It will all be planted with seeds, and maybe we'll extend it at one point. But I mean, if we had... So this is talking... 
the reason I'm kind of hesitant to put a mod on the server is because it's a very slippery slope with me. If if I put one mod on, I'm thinking, oh, but then that will complement it, and that will complement that, and before you know it, you've got 40 mods on the server. But if I look at this, this is a pure vanilla server at the minute. I know, me playing vanilla, what the hell. But it's actually really fun at the minute. Yeah. Right, down to the carrot farm. Okay. So I'll, we'll cut that bit out. Down to so, the carrot so that's, farm. Say that again, hang on. Down to the carrot farm. Lead on. Lead on. This, I've got to admit, has been the hardest thing I've built so far. Not because it's a carrot farm. It's because literally every single stone block you see is a silver flesh block. What? Well, yeah, even... That's not. Nearly every one. It's, it's, it's like practically one in every... That one's not... It's like one in every ten's a silverfish one. Two, three, four, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you were saying? <laughs> That's been edited as elsewhere. But no, this stair. <laughs> right, try down here. Where in this staircase is? I had most trouble here. Keep digging down. Oh no, no. I know what you mean though, because when I've been, I'll show you what I've done to the mine in a in a, a couple of minutes. But I've found so many of the blasted things. That's really irritating. I didn't even know you could get silverfish blocks. I was like, wow, there's a monster. I knew we could get silverfish blocks, but I didn't realise that they would spawn in normal stone. I thought it had to be cobble or chiselled. All right, I thought it would only be in strongholds. Anyway, yeah, so this is a, it's actually a nice, really nice carrot farm. The, the, the initial, I mean, look at the window, look at that lovely window where the water is. Hope we don't get termites. <laughs> oh, that'd be annoying. Oh, uh, dinner, yeah. dinner bone, don't add that. Termites, freaking. Termites oh. and then physics. Oh. Imagine that. <laughs> Push! <laughs> it's funny, you load up, you load up an old world and it's like, Look at my beautiful tower. Oh, it's not centered. And then he adds um, termites, wind, and um, physics. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> termites. I guess they would be like little um, pixel specks that appear on the wood, slowly um, d yeah, destroying yeah. it. Knock it and it off. Oops. And you wouldn't be able to save the block. You would have to destroy the block to kill the termites. Mm. Or it'd spread all the way down. Initially, if we want there are plans in my head for if we do a melon or pumpkin, I'll build another layer down. So the idea is, is that I'm going to probably put a ladder about here and probably go down another level and then another level. Be like a underground tower of food. I was going to actually do that. I was going to, because I found that potato. I was going to, but then I'll leave this to you. I will make my own potato farm and eat, live on jacket potatoes. Or big potatoes, I guess it depends how yeah. you say oh, it. Hang on, something's bothering me. Yeah, baked potatoes, jacket potatoes. So that was bugging me. There was one there was one missing. I think everyone who plays Minecraft has O C D. Well, that's why I put these things up here because that water was annoying me. Constantly dripping down through the dirt. Oh yeah, I hate that. Like, although it is it is useful when lava is about although you can hear it before you see it alright shall we move on yep onward onward tell you one thing it is nice doing a server tour with someone that actually talks well why do you do server tours of mute people well no we're on skype but they don't talk so uh... Well, you can hear typing, but that's about it. Um, cow farm, I think. And then we can move yes. over to the portal. Okay, my cow farm. Your cow farm. You moved, you moved this, didn't you? Well, it was originally here. Yeah, when I was doing what we'll see later down below, the processing centre, when I came up through the hatch, I came up through the cow farm. Ah. And you know what? The cows were trying to get down the fence. down what? from the Down the ladder, I mean. Down the ladder. And I had a baby one reach the bottom. Ah, creeper! Oh, sugar! No! Oh. 
Oh, it didn't damage anything. Uh, I took out one hopper, but that's that's Did okay. It? I've got I've got a hopper here. Oh, good. Um, okay, I didn't need that one. Anyone got a pick to remove this hopper? Yeah. Which one? Oh. This, this spare one here. Yeah, that one. Where do you want it? Um, I don't. I, I it just took it to me. You a hopper? The the the, the, hop, the hopper hoarder. I'm the hopper hoarder. It, see, everyone in Minecraft has a particular item they like. I'm particularly fond of. Can you get rid of that block as well? I've got a pick on me. I've left the house uh, without a pick. Oh, oops. It it's doesn't gone. matter. I'll click. I'll click. It's later. gone. It's gone. Um, fence here. Seriously, that creeper took out so many blocks. Hmm. I only got two blocks back after that. What do you want, Cal? Can you? You got any blocks to fill the hole in? No, I haven't. That's the point. I didn't uh, get anything. I, uh, I had two. I had a stone and I had a dirt. And I've uh, used... I'll use some of this leftover cobble. We can make it pretty later. Mm. What's your favourite decorating block? Ooh. Mm. Mm. It would have to be the new wood block that's not implemented on the server. <laughs> oh, the uh, acacia, the red one. The uh, one that has the orange core. Mm. That, that look, one. That would look lovely as flooring. I was watching a YouTube video the other day where this guy's going through um, the new biomes, and that wood looks cool, especially with the dark wood, mm. the orange. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. I'm. There's a style I really like on the on this uh, YouTuber called Etho. He's got like millions of subscribers. Really cool guy, mm. and he's got this it's like modern, um, almost arty building type with um, the, the uh, quartz and hardened clay. Really, and it just it just mm. looks really nice, like non Minecrafty almost. But anyway, so should we go and have a look at your um, processing system? Uh, there is a funny story about these cows, though. Okay, now. Once upon a time, this horde was so large, they couldn't keep still. Is there is there a mechanic in Minecraft, if you breed cows too much, they get schizo? I really need to know this. Is there a mechanic? Um, I know that they follow um, baby cows. Sorry, no, baby cows follow their parents. Mm. Um. Because this herd got so large, they were literally spazzing all the way across the field. And literally, if they saw an opening, they would run towards it. Literally, all of them. It was just this <laughs> mess of cows. So it was a pain. Because th this is originally like how far back it went. I've still got the hole here. And trying to put the fence in and trying to put this wall in, they kept getting in the way. And there was a point where it was literally... Ah! Die, you stupid cow! <laughs> that, that was... So we lost half the herd in one night, but we gained half a stack of leather, leather and two stacks. Of I, I I never saw any of that leather. Yeah. Uh, I w I needed leather to finish off the books, and I, I never saw any of that leather. I made a full set of armor. That's probably why you never saw the leather. Yeah. Well, I had iron. Oh, my helmet's almost dead. I'm I'm slowly switching to iron when I don't need hoppers anymore. Mm. Um. This over here, because the thing is, the sorting facility is going to extend about this far back. Right. So the thing is, I mean, how... this is... You're going to have to explain to me how you're going to build a sorting facility, because I have no idea. Oh, I'll explain. Um, I originally wanted to try to do a salt and slash smelting facility, but I'm not sure how to do the mechanics for that at the moment, so I'll build... I know how to do the smelting facility. I will take care of that. Right. Um, this is just going to be a room. I don't know what to put in it. Whether to make, make it a library, portion room. When we when we get bibliocraft, we can. Um, oh, that's another thing about bibliocraft. You can put potions on stands. Ooh. So you can have you can have like shelves. So you can actually have shelves and shops. So I just I just love that mod. It's so cool. Well, and I've this, never had a chance to use it. Properly. This is a general purpose room. I mean, it'll connect maybe crack to the crafting facility for smelting. I don't know what we can do with it yet, but it's going to be built into the mountain. Mm. We can use it for whatever. Cool. 
Like, sort of facility. Well, I'm sure if we get a few more people on there, they can find a use for it. Um, ooh, Neverwort Wart. This is our Neverwort farm. Yes, I've just harvested it. Are you using it for everything, anything, or are you just... Um... Um, I'm just building up a stockpile. Right, because I've got no idea what to do with Neverwort. Uh, no. You make potions. I got I got a taste of that adventure map. Um, I uh, I got my taste for potions, and I want to make more. I, yeah, want to, I want to do the I want to do the invisibility one, <laughs> and then we're, we're going to have a fight. We're going to build like a little room. We've got we're going to have a, a little fight. Uh, the puffer fish is for the breathing underwater potion. I found out what it's mm. for, and that'll be a one point seven thing. That will be a one point seven thing. Um, his taste for potions, if you're wondering, ladies and gentlemen, is from a future adventure map that you'll probably see after we finish up Lord on the Dropper. Yeah, I don't know how long that's going to be, though. We can do the wheat farm as we pass it. The what? The uh, sugarcane oh, sug farm. Yeah. It's essentially a sugarcane farm. There's not much <laughs> to it. <laughs> I can automate that if you want. Well, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I know a couple of ways. Anything so You know what we haven't got yet? A pig farm. You need a pig farm. Why? We've got cows. But we can ride pigs. Oh yeah, true. well we've got horses, but pigs are more difficult to, to like to um what's the word drive. We could set up a pig go kart track. <laughs> Hang on, two seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Right, so no thought went into this nether portal placing at <laughs> all. Um, well actually no, it did because I didn't want it in the middle of town but because. The noise, even though I play most of the time without sounds on. But so I spawned, went in. Sidious wasn't here, mm. and we spawned inside a fortress. And if these signs are still up, so I'm just going to focus on them. As you can read them, um, I kind of went in when Renji was not on the server, and I arrived at fortress, and I was gobsmacked. But then. I was even more terrified trying to get back in the portal when I was surrounded by gasks, literally, f literally screaming <laughs> and firing fireballs. And I was like, we, we need to do something or else we'll never get back to the overworld. So, I, okay, I'm coming through. Oh, a sign came through. I picked up the sign. Yeah, from that wheat farm, you get one stack and then eight. Well, there's really, if anyone's wondering why it looks so dull in here, no thought kind of went into um, it. it was sort of you're outside. I'm not. You are? I'm not. You're not, you're not in the portal. Okay, okay, oh, hold on. Technical difficulties, I'll, I, I'm literally right next to you, so... Um, um, according to, right, can you see me outside the, I've dug a hole through the door. Oh, there you go. Am I back? Yeah, you were out there. <laughs> you were you were flying in midair. Oh. Wow. Oh dear, that's it's another, always fun. That's another one for the technical difficulty series. <laughs> God, that series is just never going to run out of footage. No. All right. Uh, yeah. So basically, now the fortress. I came in and raided all the chests I could find. Um, didn't really get that much actually. I got uh, what did I get? I got a couple of bits of horse armor that are in my chest somewhere. Um, I got some horse armor from um, the um, non-existent dungeon that we once had. Ah, Blaze! Where? Oh, we, we need to find a... Um... Blaze in hell! <laughs> blaze in hell. You get it, Blaze in Hell's hell. blazers! <laughs> that, that's Sorry, it. <laughs> that's, from, that's from another YouTuber. Anyway, come on. Uh, no, uh, there's... Come on. We need to find a um, a tundra biome. Oh, I'm not gonna fight him. You're the I've one no... with the diamond sword and the iron armor. I'm the one wearing I've cow's got no backside. Bow. I've, I've got, got no, no bow. bow, and I'm not taking a blaze on with a sword. Anyway, but, so yeah, we yeah. we found a blaze um, spawner. Uh, hopefully, just gotta figure out how to make a blaze farm. Because then we can get on to making potions. 
Oh, an interesting thing, if, you, if you're wondering why the stairs are like this, nothing can see through it. It is wonderful. Hmm. Neither I... can I. I can't see through it either. Can't you? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can. Oh, is... No, it's fire. It's Pigman. I kind of think we need to move it or put a few more in because um, I can't it's see much out of It's a shame you can't put half slabs like that without the other uh, bit on the cross so you could make maybe a three wide. Um, I think you can jig it a certain way if you use half slabs and trap doors. You can maybe jig it to no. do it. But that's something to experiment into. Yeah, anyway, uh, back to the oval world. I'm inside your head. <laughs> I'm on uh, the side of the mountain. Da, 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 yeah. da, da. Now, are you going to, um, where are you going to appear? I'm already here. Oh, you've never glitched. You need to, I, hang on, I need to log. There you are. Sometimes if you go through the nether, you appear invisible to another player. Oh, that sounds fun. 